Welcome to St. Helena Ministries Daily Prayer with the Divine Office. Today is the Feast of St. Simon and Jude, Apostles. I'm Patrick. This is my wonderful, beautiful wife, Charlotte. Hi. Let's get started. Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come, let us worship the Lord, King of Apostles. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger... They shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King of Apostles. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us worship, worship the Lord, the King, King of Apostles. The name of St. Simon usually appears 11th in the list of apostles. Nothing is known of him except that he was born at Cana and is surnamed the Zealot. St. Jude, also called Thaddeus, was the apostle who asked the Lord at the Last Supper why he had manifested himself only to his disciples and not to the whole world. Your hand, O Lord, has guided your church from age to age. The wondrous tale is written so clearly on each page. Our fathers praised your goodness, and we their deeds record, and both to this bear witness, one church, one faith, one Lord. Your heralds brought glad tidings to greatest and to least. They told all men to hasten to share the great king's feast. And this was all their teaching in every deed and word, to all alike proclaiming, one church, one faith, one Lord. Through many days of darkness, through many scenes of strife, the faithful few fought bravely to guard the Christian life. Their gospel of redemption sin pardoned, man restored, was all in this enfolded. One church, one faith, one Lord. Your mercy will not fail us, nor leave your work undone. With all your strength to help us, the victory shall be won. And then by men and angels your name shall be adored. And this shall be their anthem, one church, one faith, one Lord. Their voice has gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the ends of the world. Their voice has gone out to the limits of the earth, their words to the ends of the world. The, heaven pro the heavens proclaim the glory of God, and the firmament shows forth the work of his hands. Day unto day takes up the story, and night unto night makes known the message. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span extends through all the earth, their words to the utmost bounds of the world. There he has placed a tent for the sun, it comes forth like a bridegroom coming from his tent, rejoices like a champion to run its course. At the end of the sky is the rising of the sun, to the furthest end of the sky is its course. There is nothing concealed from its burning heat. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now, and will be forever. Be forever. Amen. Their, Their voice has gone, gone out to, to the, the limits, limits of the earth. earth. Their, their words to, to the, the ends, ends of, of the, the world. world. They proclaimed what God has done for us. They grasped the meaning of his deeds. They proclaimed what God has done for us. They grasped the meaning of his deeds. Hear my voice, O God, as I complain. Guard my life from dread of the foe. Hide me from the band of the wicked, from the throng of those who do evil. They sharpen their tongues like swords. They aim bitter words like arrows to shoot at the innocent from ambush, shooting suddenly and recklessly. They scheme their evil course, they conspire to lay secret snares. They say, 
Who will see us? Who can search out our crimes? He will search who searches the mind and knows the depths of the heart. God has shot them with his arrow and dealt with them sudden wounds. Their own tongue has brought them to ruin, and all who see them mock. Then will all men fear they will tell God what they will tell what God has done. They will understand God's deeds. The just will rejoice in the Lord and fly to him for refuge, and the upright hearts will glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the the beginning, beginning, is now, and and will be forever. forever. Amen. They proclaimed what God has done for us. They grasped the meaning of his deeds. God's holiness was revealed by them. All nations saw God's glory. God's holiness was revealed by them. All nations saw God's glory. The Lord is king. Let the earth rejoice. The many coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits, worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, most high above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just and joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. forever. Amen. God's God's holiness holiness was revealed revealed by them. them. All All nations nations saw God's God's glory. They proclaimed the Lord's praises, told of his power to save. And the wonders he had worked. A reading from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Men should regard us as servants of Christ and administrators of the mercies of God, mysteries of God. The first requirement of an administrator is that he prove trustworthy. It matters little to me whether you or any other human court pass judgment on me. I do not even pass judgment on myself. Mind you, I have nothing on my conscience. But that does not mean that I am declaring myself innocent. The Lord is the one to judge me. So stop passing judgment before the time of his return. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and manifest the intentions of hearts. At that time, everyone will receive his praise from God. Brothers, I have applied all of this to myself and Apollos by way of example for your benefit. May you learn from us not to go beyond what is set down so that none of you will grow self-important by reason of his association with one person rather than another. Who confers any distinction on you? Name something you have that you have not received. If then you have received it, why are you boasting as if it were your own? At the moment you are completely satisfied. You have grown rich. You have launched upon your reign with no help from us. Would that you had really begun to reign that we might be reigning with you. As I see it, God has put us apostles at the end of the line, like men doomed to die in the arena. We have become a spectacle to the universe, to angels and men alike. We are fools on Christ's account. Ah, but in Christ you are wise. We are the weak ones, you the strong. They honor you while they sneer at us. Up to this very hour we go hungry and thirsty, poorly clad, roughly treated, wandering about homeless. We work hard at manual labor. When we are insulted, we respond with a blessing. Persecution comes our way. We bear it patiently. We are slandered and we try conciliation. We have become the world's refuse, the scum of all. That is the present state of affairs. I am writing you in this way not to shame you, but to admonish you as my beloved children. Granted, you have ten thousand guardians in Christ, you have only one Father. 
It was I who, who begot you in Christ Jesus through my preaching of the gospel. I beg you then, be imitators of me. I no longer call you servants, but my friends. For I have shared with you everything I have heard from my Father. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven have been revealed to you. Blessed are your eyes because they see and your ears because they hear. For I have shared with you everything I have heard from my Father. A reading from a commentary on the Gospel of John by St. Cyril of Alexandria, Bishop. Our Lord Jesus Christ has appointed certain men to be guides and teachers of the world and stewards of his divine mysteries. Now he bids them to shine out like lamps and to cast out their light, not only over the land of the Jews, but over every country under the sun and over people scattered in all directions and settled in distant lands. That man has spoken truly who said no one takes honor upon himself except the one who is called by God. For it was our Lord Jesus Christ who called his own disciples before all others in a, mo in a most glorious apostolate. These holy men became the pillar and mainstay of the truth, and Jesus said that he was sending them just as the Father had sent him. By these words, he is making clear the dignity of the apostolate and the incomparable glory of the power given to them, but he is also, it would seem, giving them a hint about the methods they are to adopt in their apostolic mission. For if Christ thought it necessary to send out his intimate disciples in this fashion, just as the Father had sent him, then surely it was necessary that they whose mission was to be patterned on that of Jesus should see exactly why the Father had sent the Son. And so Christ interpreted the character of his mission to us in a variety of ways. Once, he said, I have come to call not the righteous, but sinners to repentance. And then at another time, he said, I have come down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him who sent me. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Accordingly, in affirming that they are sent by him, just as he was sent by the Father, Christ sums up in a few words the approach they themselves should take to their ministry. From what he said, they would gather that it was their vocation to call sinners to repentance, to heal those who were sick, whether in body or spirit, to seek in all their dealings, never to do their own will, but the will of him who sent them, and as far as possible to save the world by their teaching. Surely it is in all these respects that we find his holy disciples striving to excel. To ascertain this is no great labor. A single reading of the Acts of Apostles or of St. Paul's writings is enough. You did not choose me, but I chose you to go forth and bear fruit that will last forever. My Father is glorified when you bring forth fruit in abundance that will last forever. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. 
In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Father, you revealed yourself to us through the preaching of your apostles, Simon and Jude. By their prayers, give your church continued growth and increase the number of those who believe in you. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks. Thank you for praying with us today. Don't forget to join us for our Sunday Rosary live stream at 6 Eastern every Sunday on our YouTube channel. Please also like, share, follow, and subscribe on whichever platforms you use. Pray for us and know of our continued prayers for you. Have Have a blessed blessed day. day.